Boom. It's your boy, Billy Guns. Top Notch Card Mafia here, live from California. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, closer to the weekend, you know, it's always a good thing. We got some football going on today. But uh, just wanted to come at you guys live and direct with the, my SGC reveal. Uh, finally came in, sent it off on uh, June 27th. They received it on July 3rd. I got it back first uh, about the first week of October. Um, super happy with uh, the customer service. Big shout out to Andy at SGC. Hey, bro, you're killing it out there, man. Like, top-notch customer service. Much love. I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of the fellas in the groups, they were looking forward to seeing some of these cards, my, my return. Uh, there, you know, a lot of guys were like, hey, have you got your cards back, man? We, we want to see, you know, we knew you sent some really, some really, pr some pretty nice cards, some pretty big cards. I'm pumped up. They're pumped up. Uh, and we're all awaiting the results. I know I'm going to be sending my, um, my cards back regardless of what the grades are. Uh, this is going to be about a 95% reveal. When I was unboxing some of the cards, I seen a few of them. Uh, but for the most part, this is going to be a live reveal, and you guys are going to see it for the first time with me. So let's enjoy and let's get to the show. Enough talking. Um, took about 75 business days, you know, which is understandable with you know the unforeseen circumstances, the you know the, the factors that were out of the SGC's hands. They did ask for a lot of business, you know, as any company really would to reach out. Uh, to get their name out there, they, they've been in business for a while already, but which is uh, a good thing from from a from a veteran collector standpoint. So they do have a lot of uh, stake in the in, in the grading card market. With that being said, a lot of people are talking down on SGC because they said they reached out for business and they did they couldn't support the volume or anything like that. But you know what? Um, they still, in my opinion, I'm not going to mention any names, but. They still got my cards, my, my my bulk submission returned to me faster than some of the competitors. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but I know you guys know who they are. Um, that's not knocking any of the other people, but all I'm saying is um, SGC remained open. And I, I want to say a hey, big shout out to you guys for remaining open and, and holding it down during the pandemic and everything. Um, a plus in my book. Let's get to it. Here we go. There it is right there, SGC, about 75, 75 days, business days. Let's get to Let's get to it. Here we go, guys. All right, first card up on deck is a Zion Williamson. Damn, that card is sick. What we have here is a Zion Williamson Panini Prism Fireworks. This is the Disco, and that, that baby gemmed out right there in the black tux. A gem 10. I couldn't be more happier with that card. Man, that's a beautiful looking piece right there. Look at that. If anybody sees anything that they like, um, please drop a comment in my, you know, on, uh, please drop a comment. If anybody uh, wants to reach out and uh, look me up on Instagram, Top Notch Card Mafia. Um, look me up on Facebook, Top Notch Card Mafia. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and take care of you and um, we'll go ahead and, uh, Make sure that if there's something that you see that you like, let's work out a deal. Simple as that. I'm so easy going, down to earth. You know, I love dealing with people, good people. Um, I'm an advocate for making sure nobody gets scammed in the hobby. In my in my group, Top Notch Card Mafia on Facebook, I have a resource, a, a, a current list of all the names of people that are kind of shady to do business with, that have scammed my brothers, me, myself, um, and they've tried to scam other people in the hobby. So I have an ongoing list uh, that... How should I say, um, screens people before they enter my group, but also it's a benefit of the group. So once you become a member, you could, you have access to that group for free. You just, you know, go through the names and make sure that make it, make it, to make sure you're not doing business with any of the guys on that group. Second card up, man, this is a banger right here, fellas. Dwayne Wade, 2019, 2020 mosaic Genesis team, USA gem. Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, that card is, man. That card is, that card's a banger, fellas. Damn, that card's sick. Dwayne Wade. One of the greats right there. All right, let's keep it, let's keep it rocking and rolling, fellas. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Next card up, John Morant. The Emerald Green 
Mosaic, 2019-2020. John Morant, that baby got a 10. So far, so good. So far, so good, you guys. I love them in the black tux. They look sweet. They look uh, elegant, sophisticated, distinguished. Um, I mean, there's not really much more I could say, but that, that card just pops. The color pops in the black tuxes, you guys. That's three tens right there. That's another nice card. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's do a little blind. Uh, let's, let's keep it going with the blind reveal. So we got a John Morant. This is the my house. I couldn't I couldn't be more happier with that card right there. Um, <laughs> green is my favorite color. It's gonna be so hard to get rid of this card. This one's numbered out of uh, one forty nine, I believe. Yeah, John Morant. That is a big boy right there. That's a banger. The my house lime green numbered out of one forty nine. I think it's number two out of one forty nine. I'm so stoked on that card right there, you guys. That card is, that's that's one of my favorites right there, for sure. That was one of my favorites of the order that I sent in. All right, here we go. Blind reveal. So that way you guys know I'm not, you know, uh, um, you guys are right there with me feeling the same thing that I'm feeling as I'm seeing these cards. Coming up next, we have a John Morant. This is the 2019-2020 uh, Mosaic. That is the NBA debut, but that is a silver NBA debut. You guys see it before me. You guys see it before me. This is a uh, pretty good card. It's not the true rookie, but it's the debut. It is a silver, and we got a boom. 9-5, baby. That's what's up. 9-5. I'll take that all day. That's a sweet card right there. This kid's a stud, man. This kid's a stud, straight up. All right, next card. Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel. Right there in the black tux. Let me see which one this one is. This is the gold laser. This is the gold laser. Some call it the velocity. This is out of 2019 Panini Prism. What do you guys think? Let's see what we get. We got a nine on that one. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. We got a nine. Sorry, sorry if there's any glare, you guys. It's just kind of hard with these uh, this, these slabs, the plastic, the lights. But I'll try to do my best. Hopefully, you guys get a clear shot of the card. Debo Samuel, the gold laser. That bad boy got a nine. Debo's a stud. He's a stud. Here we go. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Let's see what we can do. Let's, let's, let's continue with the good grades. This one is a DK Metcalf Panini Prism, the red ice. The red ice. Beautiful looking card. You guys see that right there? So you guys are going to see the grade before I see it. You guys are going to see the grade before I see it, you guys. Beauty. DK is a straight stud. I love, man, Russell Wilson, he, he trusts DK. Go all the way downfield, throws on those bombs. And DK got a 9-5. That's tight. Nice. So far, hey, in the black tuxes and the, these grades, um, I made sure to look over these cards really well before I sent them in. Um, I'm not sure how some of the older cards, I sent in some vintage cards, some of the older stuff and some paper cards. So far on like the prisms, like the optics and all that stuff, everything's looking good. So we'll see how we do it. See how we continue and hopefully we continue with 9.5s and 10s. This is a Josh Jacobs. This is at an optic. This is the green laser. Green laser, Josh Jacobs. This bad boy. Boom, got a nine. I'll take that. Take that all day. Some of the stuff that got nines, I could I could see. I sent these in in February. So I could see now um, that some of the centering, well, when I sent them in, some of the centering was off and stuff like that on the back, on the front a little bit. So I can understand, uh, you know, when this, when this got a nine, how this got a nine, top to bottom is off. But it's all good. Let's keep it rocking and rolling, fellas. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. This is a banger right here. This is a Lamar Jackson. This is a 2018 Select Tricolor. Beautiful looking card. Beautiful, beautiful looking card. I love these Select Tricolors. Um, plus, it's Lamar Jacks. Offensive MVP. Um, I mean, this dude's a stud, man. Definitely one of my favorite quarterbacks. This one. 
Boom, baby. That's good. That's what's up right there. Nine five. Nine five. That is a sweet looking card. Black Tux, 9.5, SGC. You guys killed it, man. Hey, you guys rock, dude. You guys just, man, you keep keep making me happy. Keep making my day after every card that I see, that I get. Man, so happy with this. With, so far, so good. I'm, money well spent, you guys. Money well spent. Uh, here we go. We got the 2019 Panini Prism. I picked this card up for like, what was it? I think five bucks. Uh, in a... In an auction this is the lamar jackson 2019 panini this is the orange or gold this one boom i'll take a nine on that it seems like there's a pattern with these uh prism like velocities it seems like there's a pattern with those this one got a nine i'll take that ain't nothing wrong with that the other one was the dk lamar jacks solid solid nfl quarterback right there all right, let's keep it let's keep it rocking and rolling. The next one we got up is a DK Metcalf. This is out of 2019 Panini Chronicles. Love these cards. These ones are pretty sick. The Titan. This is the Titan Silver DK. This one. Boom. A nine. Hey, it's not a ten, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Sweet looking card. I love cards that show like the galaxy in the background. I don't know what it is. The galaxy lightning. Um, like the scoring kings, but man, the case hits like nebulas and stuff like that. I love cards like that. This DK, that is a sweet looking silver, beautiful card. I think I, I think I picked this one up in a fire sale for like four bucks. That's a banger right there for sure too. All right, the next one I know, I don't know the grade, but I seen the uh, the card. This is a mosaic, John Morant. This is the blue reactive out of mosaic. Not it's not the numbered one. But it's uh, the blue reactor comes out of the mega boxes. Super pumped when I hit this one. And you guys will see it right here with me. Boom, 9 5, baby. Killing it on the jaw. Killing it on the jaw. 9 5. 9 5. I got my baby girl right here, Savannah J, Lil SJ, rocking with me. She's, she's uh, shooting this video for me. How's it looking, baby girl? Centering good? Everything good? Color? Yeah. Okay. All right, 9-5, sweet, that's a banger right there. Let's keep it going. All right, I love these cards. This is the LeBron James Jam Masters. This is just the base Jam Masters, uh, no color to it. And this one, boom! That's what's up. This one got a 10, baby. Nice, Jam Masters. This reminds me of NBA Jam. The game from my childhood, NBA Jam. That's a sweet, sweet looking card. They they did they did a real good job with the inserts uh, out of mosaic. All right, here we go. Now this card, this is a little story behind this one. This is a 2018. This is an unparalleled Lamar Jackson hyper numbered out of 25 rookie card. So there's a seller, which is a friend of mine, um, Mikey. You know who you are. He, uh, we we're trying to make a deal, put a deal together uh, for some Lamar Jackson cards before they played the Titans, and we just couldn't, we just couldn't, uh, you know, find that elusive middle ground. So I kind of had to pass on it, you know. It was he, he. I know the cards were worth it, but for me, there wasn't any room. But once the Titans started smashing on the on the Ravens, you know. We got back in touch, and he was like, hey, you still have interest in these those Lamars? I said, I don't know, man. I said, they're losing right now. I said, the value's going down. I was like, I'm kind of rethinking it. And he's like, hey, I'll give you a good deal. Uh, he, Mike is a hell of a dude. We we uh, were able to come together, find a, find a solution, find a compromise on the price. We made a solid deal. Boom, baby. 9-5. Lamar Jackson. Unparalleled hyper rookie card numbered out of 25. Sweet, sweet looking card. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but the Hyper has some nice characteristics to it, some nice attributes. It's different than the Hypers from like Topps Chrome and stuff like that. Um, this one actually has like some little ninja stars. That's what, you know, the Hyper is in the Unparalleled. 9.5. I'll take that. Another Lamar Jacks right here. I picked this one up his rookie year. I picked this one up his rookie year in a Lamar Jackson lot. I want to say... Uh, 
There's the, that's the Aqua Optic Rated Rookie, Lamar Jacks, the Sky Blue, the Aqua. I remember buying a lot of cards for like 63 bucks from a friend of mine that needed some cash. And I wasn't really looking at the time, but I just, I like helping my brothers out. I like helping my boys out. Um, you know, in the hobby, they're like, hey man, I need some cash. I got, I'm falling on hard times. You know, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, I, I got you. I got an extra 80 bucks to spend. We, we set it on 63 for a couple of Lamar Jackson rookies and some other cards. This was one of them. I'm glad I made that decision. Sometimes, hey, it pays to help people out, you guys. You know, always keep that humble, down to earth, you know, spirit. You know, always be willing to help people out, even when they're in trouble in the, in the card game. You know, I mean, because it translates into anything else. You see what happens when you help people out? Like, it's called like good karma. And when you bless people, God will bless you too at the same time. You know, so that's uh, that's the return of that card right there. Blessed to get a good grade on that. All right, coming up next, another Lamar Jacks, baby. Another Lamar Jacks. This is at a select. This is the field level. 2018 select silver field level Lamar Jackson. Beautiful card. I, I pulled this card out of, uh, I bought two boxes of select. And I was fortunate enough in 2018 to pull some, uh, or 2019 when the select came out. At the beginning of the year, I believe. I think that's when it came It either came out in November or February. But I was fortunate to pull some bangers. Oh, so. I'm so happy with this card right here. This one got this one. I was hoping for a 10, but I mean, you guys all know when you don't get a 10, a not, and you have to be happy with the 9.5, a 9.5 is 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 a lot closer to a 10 than a 9. So that makes I'm so happy right now with my Lamar Jackson. So far, so good on the Lamar Jacksons. Look at check this out, you guys. 9.5, 9.5. Silver and a black tux, 9-5, baby. Hey, we're on a roll right here, fellas. On a roll. Next one right here we got up is a Kobe White. This is the orange. This is these comes out of the hanger. These come out of the hanger boxes out of mosaic. 2019. 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Orange Reactive Kobe White. Boom, 9-5. I'll take that. Some of the mosaics, like the base cards and and Pretty much all the mosaics, um, there is a high probability of getting some um, surface uh, scratches, surface issues. So I'm happy with that. This one, uh, I'm not sure where it got, you know, dinged the, the 0.5, but I'm not going to complain at all. I'm going to be grateful. Kobe White, 9.5 all day, baby. Bulls, go Bulls. I sent off a lot of basketball, you guys. Uh, I sent off some football and baseball as well. So there's going to be like multi-sport. And uh, we're almost through the first stack. We'll try to make this, you know, uh, an efficient video. You know, not too not too fast, but at the same time, not too long. So that way it's enjoyable for you guys. All right, here we go. I I pulled this. I was trying to hit a Zion or a Jaw um, when, I, when I bought a couple boxes of Select. They were super expensive. I think I paid like $480 for the box. At that time, that was a great price because they just shot, they shot, they shot way up. This is a Matisse Thibault. This is a select uh, field level. This is the gold number to 10. It got a nine. I'll take that. That's cool. There ain't no wrong with that. Careful, baby. We got cards right there. Move those. That one got a nine. That one got a nine. Matisse Stiebel, the gold field level for the 76ers. This dude is a defensive stud, and he started to come on offensively uh, towards uh, towards the end of the you know the the restart. Very happy with that. Numbered out of ten. Coming up next, we have Mr. Tatum. Tatum Select 2017 Select Rookie. I think this is the Concourse. Yeah, that's the Concourse right there. And boom. Jason Tatum, Boston Celtics, where you at, baby? Tatum got a 10. Isn't that that's sweet right there? That is a nice one right there. 10, baby. Go around this way, sweetheart. Well, exit. Stage left. Careful for the camera. 10, baby. Jason Tatum. We got another Tatum right here coming up. Follow that up. 
Jason Tatum, the Concours. Boom, now we got a 9.5. Hey, it's better than a 6. I'll take that all day. I'm not going to complain. I know some guys are like, what the hell did I miss? And like, why did it, you know, it's like, it is what it is. You know, we ask for their opinion, accept it, you know. Um, you know, they, 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 so far I see that, you know, they're, they're giving me a lot of good grades, but if, if there's something that's a bad grade, I can understand. There's got to be something wrong with it. They're just not going to say like, oh, you know what? We have this card personally, so we're going to like grade these ones nothing but sixes and sevens. I haven't seen that happen. Um, they have a really good reputation at SGC. I've heard of that happening with other, other companies. Uh, it's never happened to me personally, but if I get a bad grade, it's for it must be for a reason. Off-centered, surface, edges, the corners must be dinged or something. So let's keep it rocking and rolling. This is another one that I hit. I kind of seen that right there. This is another one that I hit out of Select with that Matisse Thibel. This is a Rui Hachimura. This is a 2019-2020 Select. This is the Aqua aqua blue or the teal this one got a gem 10 baby rui hachimura the washington wizards uh, he started to ball out as well towards the end of the restart that's a sweet looking card super pumped about that i think rui's gonna do big things and he's gonna he, he already has a good following it's a it's an off season right now but um well for them it's the off season but anyways coming up next mike trout 2014 this is the red hot foil this is update Yep. Red Hot Foil. I'll take that all day right there on a 2014 card. I got that's a this one got a nine. Mike Trout, Red Hot Foil. Got a nine, baby. I like how down to earth Trout is, how humble he is. I PC him. He's not out there like Antonio Brown in it, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not out there all, you know, look at me, look at me, you know, I'm the best and like Abusing his power, abusing his authority, abusing his popularity. Humble, humble cat. You know what I mean? Um, setting a great example for kids. Setting a great example for his peers. And, and, you know, and uh, somebody that takes the, the the fame and is responsible with it. You know, and appreciates it. Here we go. It's a nice card right here. I'm not sure what it got. So I picked this one up in a fire sale. At the time, I was like, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I want to spend that. Dude had it for 100 a friend of mine. Um, I'll show you guys. This is the 2013 SP Authentic Giannis. This isn't just the, the Giannis rookie from 2013. This is the Canvas Collection. This is the Canvas Collection, you guys. So with that being said, I, I, I picked this up for $50. Okay, The gentleman had it up for 100 or best offer. Somebody offered him $25, $30, bucks, and I said, $50 bucks sold, buddy. And my friend said, yeah, you know what? Sold to you, Billy. So let's see what we got on that bad boy. Boom! I didn't see any of these on the pop report um, when I was checking. And then uh, I didn't see any of these until I got my cards back. Um, so what I'm trying to say is I, was, I checked for a couple cards that were bigger cards. Because I wanted to see on the pop report what they got and if they've been graded yet. So I got my cards in, and this was one of the ones that I had seen, um, because once I got them in, I looked, and I wanted to kind of match things up, and then I seen that they did uh, um, update this one on the pop report to a 9.5, so that's a sweet card, Giannis Canvas Collection. All right, here we go. This is a Trey Young Mosaic Stained Glass Case Hit. Case hit, baby. I, I bought this from a buddy of mine from uh, Massachusetts. Let's see what we got. Bam! 9.5. Ice tray. 9.5. Let me know um, how the quality of the... Make sure everything's good for the um, for the viewers, baby. Okay. Be careful not to hit the my tripod. Okay. Watch out for your, your Chromebook right there. Trey Young, 9.5, baby. Trey Young, 9.5. I'll take that. How's that? How's that camera angle look? Good. Good. Can yeah. you see the card? Good. No glare. Um, a little bit of glare, but not much. All right. Sounds good. Trey Young, baby, nine five. <laughs> this dude's a straight baller. No look passes. Like his his handles. I remember that game where he like he, he like he pumped up. He came back. He went up. He came back and he shook the ankles. I I can't remember who he shook the the ankles of. 
But like he went back and forth like three times and he broke. <laughs> that was that was pretty badass. Here we go. This one is a mosaic. This is the, the out of the hanger box is out of mosaic. This one is a white jersey variation of Co Kobe White. The white jersey of Kobe White. Oh, this one got a 10. Obviously, since Michael Jordan, I mean, I've been a Bulls fan. Um, just watching him growing up stuck with me. I like the I like the the mascot. I like the logo. I like the colors of the Bulls. And there it is. Kobe White. This is the uh, white jersey variation, photo variation out of Mosaic. And that bad boy got a 10. Gem 10 in a black tux. Absolutely beautiful. Here comes another Tatum. This is the red and yellow out of Optic. Rated rookie. And this one, 9.5. 9.5. I'll take that all day, every day. Didn't get a 10 because of top to bottom centering, but it's all good. Jason Tatum, 9.5. All right, on to some LeBrons. King James, pink camo. Pink camo, LeBron James right there in the black tux. King James, let's see what we got. Hopefully they can win another title. Boom! Nice. That's a banger right there, you guys. LeBron James, Pink Camel Mosaic, Gem 10. Boom, boom, boom. All day, baby, right there. Look at That's a big card. Coming up next, we got a Zion. This is a Prism Base Rookie. The, the Chrome, not the Silver. Not the Prism. Bam, how about that? Zion 9.5 and a Black Tux. That's what I was hoping for. Um, I know that it's hard to get tens, a lot of tens on stuff, especially like on, you know, the, the surface of the prism, how they're the chromatic finish. Sometimes there's a, there's a little hairline um, scratches on them and stuff. So microfiber, microfiber your cards, make sure there's no, you know, just, just, uh, hit them nice and lightly. Give them like a slight buff in on with the microfiber cloth. And, uh, you guys will be, you know, uh, doing your cards some good. What I did, what I do is I blow on my cards first. And I go real softly across the surface, make sure there's no like little dust on the card that could scratch it when you use your microfiber. Um, and you know what's a good uh, thing too is like get one of those like aerosol, um, you know, cleaners for your for your keyboard and just hit it tss, 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 with the air. Get your microfiber, slide it off. That gets you know, that makes sure that there's no like dust or like little particles on it that could scratch it. So nine five Zion. All day, cats a stud. I picked these ones up. I picked I picked three of these up together in a purchase. How's the camera looking, babe? We're all good, Nana. Still recording. LeBron James Slam Ink. This is out of 2013-14, 14-15 Excalibur. I like this card because of the 3D effect, the progressive effect on the card. It's it. The, it's like the artwork and everything. It's in motion. Slam Ink. LeBron James is always throwing it down. There you go. Jam 10, baby, in a black tux. Looks good. Coming up next, we got a little vintage throwback right here. Michael Jordan. This is uh, out of um, Topps Finest Sterling. 96, 97, Topps Finest Sterling. MJ with the peel on it. And you guys see it before me. Sweet. I'll take that. That's a respectable grade. I don't know where they seen, uh, you know, it was off. But hey, I'll take an eight on that. Um, I had left the peel on it. Picked that up for about 15 bucks. It's a good looking piece. There we go. Got a nice Gronk rookie. This is uh, the Topps Chrome. Rob Gronkowski. Hopefully he's going to do some big things with the Bucks this year. Rob Gronkowski. This one got an eight five. I think there was like a couple minor, minor like hairline scratches on the surface. But other than that, happy with that. 8.5, Rob Gronkowski, that's respectable. We're starting to get into some, some of the vintage cars, and you guys can see the newer stuff, 9.5s, 10s. Once we slide back to the older stuff, then we're looking at, you know, grades start dropping a little bit, which is understandable, you know, because the card's been out for a longer period of time. Joe Montana, rookie. The back's off-centered on this one. Um, let's see what we get. Okay, 6. I was hoping for like a 7 or an 8. But 
you know, I've seen some really bad grades on these cards. These ones are really hard. Um, I was looking at the pop report. I see like a lot of fours, fives. So a six. Hey, not bad. I'll take that. Better than a five. Here comes another Joe Montana. Same card. Joe Montana Rook. The back's off-centered. The front looks pretty decent. Um, got another six. What can I say? I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'm happy with it. It's in a slab. SGC six of Joe Montana. When I, I just got to keep trying. I just got to keep trying. Um, those will be up for sale. If anybody sees anything you like, feel free to hit me up, man. So easy going. I know that there's always like that um, awkward dance between a buyer and seller over price. But I'll tell you what. What I strive for is to make sure that the deal is good for 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 both the buyer and seller. I never want to make, I never want to do a one-sided deal because you burn bridges that way. Um, and plus when you do, when you keep trying to do one-sided deals, nobody wants to do business with you. So I always want to make sure that I leave some room for the, for the buyer. And then I get, you know, what I'm content with, what I'm happy with for my, for my card, you know, that I've held for a while or that I sent out for get, for grading or, or whatever the, re, whatever the situation is. So um, just keep that in mind, fellas. Make sure whenever you're doing a deal with somebody, unless it's somebody you really don't know, um, you know, and it's just like a quick, hey, I want 100 for this and that's it, I'm firm, but, and it's a good deal already, then do it, you know, but always try to keep in mind, it's a two-way street. Uh, you screw people over, they're going to screw you over back. You don't everybody hook it, don't ever leave any meat on the bone for somebody else. Don't expect people to leave meat on the bone for you in the future, you know. So here we go, LeBron James, Coast to Coast 2003. This came out of the LeBron James uh, Upper Deck Diary Rookies with the, the gold Upper Deck symbol. Sweet looking card. I like that with the American flag in the background. LeBron James, nine in the black tux. I'll take that, that's a sweet looking card. The, film, the, the camera angle looking good, baby girl. All right, here we go, Dak Prescott. This dude's been having an epic year. Dak Prescott in the Black Tuck Silver Prism. Boom, 8.5. All right. Well, once again, <clears throat> some of these older cards, they are condition sensitive on the surface. So I'm thinking that's what kind of got it. Maybe there was a couple hairline things that, that they saw, you know, under their uh, microscope magnifying glass. Nonetheless, hey, eight, you know, 8.5, that's still a higher grade. I'll take that. I'm not going to complain. All right. The first big stack's done. Next one, Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. This is the Topps rookie. I believe it was 2011 or 20, what is that, 2013? Christian Yelich, Topps. Centering's off left to right. That one got a nine. That one got a nine. I'll take that. Take that right there. Good looking card. Here we go. We got a jaw. We got a jaw, fellas. The Mosaic True Rookie, John Morant, and that sweet looking uh, Grizzlies, the teal jersey. We got a nine. I'll take that because I've seen some low, really low grades on the surface of these Mosaic base cards. So nine, I'm happy with that. No problem, no problem at all. Now this card, pick this one up off eBay. Okay, I paid 50 for this card. It was a case hit, uh, 2019 Prism case hit. I like that black. It's like they're called like the Prism Portraits. Um, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., well, we all, you know, my generation grew up to. The kid, so, such a sweet swing. 